<laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. And as you can tell, <laughs> it... Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. And as you can tell, I am overloaded with doggy loveness. They both wanted to be in the video, so they both jumped up here. So now I don't have any free hands to do what I need to do. Um, it is Tuesday, and it's time for us to talk trash. That's what I'm planning on doing. These characters got up here, so. <laughs> I don't know what to do. They both wanted to be in there. You know, one of you guys could lay down on my lap. What about you, huh? Huh, Ginger? Hmm? You want to lay down? What about you, Jay? You want to lay down? Anyway, I'm going to have to lay one of them down on my lap, and then I'll hold the other one. Probably be easiest to hold her, because she don't weigh that much. Jade will stay up here. If I put her down like that, she'll stay up here. I just hope I can reach my trash. i got my trash over here. So come back and we'll see what happens. Trash talking. Trash talk. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. This is Jade, right here. This is Ginger and my name is Vicki. And today we're gonna talk trash. I don't know how I'm gonna do it with two dogs on me, but we'll try to go for it. I have my trash over here, so let me see if I can reach over there and get it. You wanna lay down, Ginger? <laughs> You're up there to stay, aren't you, honey? Yeah. Yes, I know. I know. Okay. Let's see if I can position her a little bit easier for me to do. There we go. Now, that'll be better. You can do that, and Jade can stay right here. Okay. Now we can get rolling with the video. Okay, the first thing that I want to show you is I've been stockpiling uh, canned meats, and then I have ate a few of them. And this was some of the Vienna sausages that I stocked. Now these were barbecue flavored, one-handed. These were barbecue flavored, and I never have seen barbecue flavored Vienna sausages. And while I was at the store, I found out they had a whole bunch of other different types of flavors too. So I tried these, and they were they were pretty good. They were pretty decent. I'm gonna have to just let my trash fall on the floor and pick it up later with these dogs up here. And then I had tried. A Healthy Choice Cafe Steamer, Honey Glazed Turkey and Potatoes. Now, as I can remember, this was pretty good. The green beans were a little tough and rubbery, but the turkey and the dressing and the, the cranberry stuff in there, it was pretty good. Uh, it's a Healthy Choice thing, 240 calories. Uh, it actually came in two bowls, and you cooked it in the two bowls and then you lifted it up and drained it out of the other one. So that's something I might get again, I don't know. I've been cooking a lot more here at the house instead of buying a lot of TV dinners. And then I tried the Coors Noors Urban Butter Rice. Rice sides. This was pretty good. As a side dish, this is good, but I usually make something like this and just eat it for a meal. Uh, you can put vegetables in it on the back, it shows putting salmon and kale with lemon herb topping on it. And then I got some of the great value pulled pork. These were in a can about the size of tuna fish. And this was in barbecue sauce, fully cooked. I didn't especially care for it. Now what I did was put it on a hamburger bun with a little bit of cheese. It would have been good if it had some slaw going with it too. But the flavor just wasn't all that I was thinking it would be when I bought it. So. I don't know that I'll buy this one again. And the reason I do these these hauls like this of the trash review, um, it's new products that I'm trying for the first time. And I'm letting you know what I think about them. So that if you shop like me and your taste is like me, you won't waste your money buying them. You know, unless you just want to take a chance on it. And these are the Ohio Loaded Baked Mashed Potatoes. Now these are always good. And I used to get these at our local Save-A-Lot for 99 cents. Uh, Save-A-Lot here went out of business. 
So now I either have to get them at the Town and Country Grocery Store or our local Walmart, and they cost a little bit more. But these were good. These were really good for mashed potatoes. And then I tried this Great Value Birthday Flavored Ice Cream Cups. <laughs> now the reason I got these, uh, they're, in, they're 12 cups and they're in individual servings. I figured that was a lot easier for me than getting a whole half gallon and scooping it out. I've already got a serving there of what I need when I buy these. Just one cup makes the serving. It's a lot easier. A uh, hundred calories in each. And it was pretty good. I actually put a little bit of chocolate topping on it too. And then they have different flavors of Spam, which I wasn't aware of. This is called Oven Roasted Turkey Spam. Let me tell you, now this was good. I sliced it up and put it in a pan and fried it like a hamburger, put it on bread with cheese, and it was really, really good. Of course, I've always liked Spam anyway, so getting this oven roasted turkey flavor, it didn't hurt me one little bit. I really enjoyed it. Um, calories on 80 calories a slice. And then this is another one of the Nors. This is called Taco Rice. Now, I was expecting this to be like Spanish rice since it's taco rice, but it wasn't like Spanish rice at all. There's a recipe on the mat for making a back for making a veg, vegetable taco bowl where you put in guacamole and, and uh, tomatoes and stuff like that. But it was really good. As a side dish, I liked it. Um, slice up some of that Polish sausage and put in there, and it's very good. Now, these little things here, I think I might have showed you these before, but I went ahead and included them in this haul, just in case I didn't, because I don't always find them at Walmart. They're Greek yogurt bars. And this one was vanilla. And then I also found one in strawberry. Like I said, they don't always carry them, or maybe they do carry them and they just sell out before I get there. But they were very good. Now, this right here, I didn't buy. This was, Jade's fixing to get down. This was an item that I got in my food bank. The Nan Bar, or the Nan Bread. It's called Nan Rounds. Let me tell you, the way I fix these, amazing. I wished I could find them. I have went to the store and looked for them since, and haven't been able to find them. I don't know which store they came from. It's got a date on it, like a Walmart date, but I couldn't find them in Walmart. That is a Walmart date. See that yellow sticker? But what I did, I took some of the, the canned turkey that I got in the food bank. I made turkey salad, basically. But the good part was, most of the ingredients that I made in the turkey salad, I got from my food bank. I used raisins that I got from the food bank. I used walnuts that came from the food bank, cucumber that came from the food bank, an apple that came from the food bank. I put some cheese in there, the canned turkey that I got at the food bank, mix it up with the, the mayonnaise, put it between two slices, like this on the back here. See that sandwich? They were amazing. Like I said, I look to buy these, try to find them, and I haven't been able to find them, but I love these. I hope they would give me some more of these next time I go back there because I really did enjoy these. Thumbs up for those. They're definitely good. And this right here I've had for a little while. I don't have pancakes very often, but since I got that tiny little waffle maker, this come from the Dollar Tree. And I like the kind of pancake mix that you only have to put water with. So I've been making the waffles in my little tiny waffle maker since I got this. So this came from the Dollar Tree and this is what I use. And it says on the back you can add blueberries or chocolate chips to it. Make different kinds of waffles. Then I have some of the Pepperidge Farm Cinnamon Raisin Breads. Now I've always liked this. I don't even toast it. I mean, I, if I toast it, I spread a little bit of butter on it, but I usually don't even toast it. I just take a slice out and just fold it up and eat it, <laughs> basically like a candy bar. It's really, really good. And then these right here, Honey Wheat Twist 
These were the pretzels that I got in my food basket. And I used them when I made that cream cheese uh, side dish. If y'all remember, I had a video where I put it all together. You crunch up the pretzels and mix it in. So this was an item that I got from the food bank that I was able to use. Otherwise, I would not have been able to eat those pretzels. I couldn't chew them. And when they set up overnight, they did get soft. So it was amazing. It was really easy to eat. Now this right here came from the Dollar Tree, Shower Fizzies, and I think there was, no, there was three of them in there. Didn't care for them. They didn't do nothing at all. I couldn't smell anything. I couldn't see anything. The water ran down on them and they dissolved, and so basically they were just something to put in there and look at. So no, I won't be buying those again. And this right here, now I may have told you about these already. This is the white meat chicken bacon ranch sub that I got in the food bank from the pantry. This was really good. Now, I have actually bought this since I got these in my basket because it was that good. Now, I would not have bought it, you know, just because of the price of it ordinarily if I hadn't have seen that it was that good from the food bank. But, yeah, I have went back and actually picked up some of these since I know how good they are. This is the Ocean Spray Craisins, and I don't know why they call them Craisins, because they're actually cranberries. And I found these in the back of my freezer, and so I got them out, and I used them in muffins. I actually put some in waffles. I actually put some of these in that chicken salad that I made that I put on my uh, nan bread. I use this in a lot of different recipes. And these were the, at the Dollar Tree, and these were good, Gain fabric sheet. Gain washing powder is good, so I knew that I would like these. You get 15 sheets in there. Now, when I bought these, I got them for a dollar. That's how long I've had them. Because I don't throw the sheets in my dryer every time. I just don't do it. Um, I'll put one sheet in there and use it five or six times before I take it out. So, I've had these for a while, but 15 of them for a dollar. I didn't think that was too bad of a price. And I had the Marie Calendar Roasted Turkey Breast and Stuffing. Pot pie dinner, TV dinner, whatever. It was really good, but like I said, once again, the green beans, always with the green beans. They were tough and rubbery and hard to eat. The turkey was good, the dressing was good, the carrots and celery and everything else in there was good. But them green beans, is just maybe it's because my teeth. I don't know. I just have a really hard time chewing green beans. Unless they're just cooked so they're like so tender they fall apart. And I have some of the uh, sun-dried tomato basil wheat thins. I put cream cheese with different flavors in it on these. Uh, it's kind of hard for me to bite into them because they are crispy. And I shared them with the dogs. The dogs liked them too. But I won't buy these again. At least not until I get some teeth because they were really hard for me to chew. Even I got them because they were wheat. You know, I'm trying to stick to more wheat products, but they were definitely really hard for me to chew. And this right here was recommended to me by you guys for the OxyClean to get the stains out of some of my clothes. It didn't work. I mean, I went ahead and bought it and I did use it all up. You know, I put a little bit in each wash, but it didn't do what I bought it for. So I won't be spending my money on this again because it, it wasn't a cheap item. It cost me a little bit more than I was wanting to spend. But if it would have removed the stains, I would have been glad to pay it. Now, these were some cookies. I think I might have did these before. They're Marinella Burritos Peanuts, pineapple filled cookies. Now, these aren't always found at Walmart. I look every time I go in there and they don't always carry them. But when they do, I always pick up a box because they're really good. They're large. It's a really big cookie. There's actually two cookies in a pack. They're individually wrapped so you can put them in lunches, you know, for back to school and stuff. And they have a very good flavor. They'd be good in the morning with a cup of coffee for you people that drink coffee. But like I said, they're kind of hard to find. Walmart doesn't carry them all the time. Now, this next product here. This was a new item to me. I had never seen this before. 
Hot Pockets makes it, and it's called Deli Witch. Here's what the box looks like. This was on an end cap at Walmart. And I bought it because it looked like, see the picture on there? That looks really good. Let me tell you, I was highly disappointed in it. First of all, it says that you can heat it in the microwave or you can thaw it out for a few hours and eat it. And I guess that's so that you, you take it in your lunch. You know, it'll be thawed out by the time lunch comes. Heats in less than a minute. Take it to go. First off, there was only four in there. And they were tiny. If you're going to put sandwiches in here that tiny, you need to at least put six in there. Four sandwiches didn't cut it for me because they were little. They weren't even as big as a slice of bread. Second thing, when I opened them up and took them out, the dough looked white and raw. It didn't even look like it was cooked. It wasn't brown. It wasn't toasty or anything like that. Now, I tried them both ways. I thawed them out and ate it at room temperature. I also heated it in the microwave. They were terrible no matter how I fixed them. So for four of these and the price you pay and the taste and the quality, no, no, I won't do it. I won't buy these again. So Hot Pockets, you need to step it up. I should write them a letter and tell them that I didn't like their product. I'm going to keep that. I might do that. Okay, i got two more things here to show you. And then we'll be done for this trash talk. This is the Tapico. Now, this is the drink that I get when I take my medicines, but I usually get the orange or the punch flavor. This was a new flavor that I had never seen before, blue raspberry punch. So I thought, well, I'll give it a whirl and see. It was okay. It wasn't a great. I still prefer the orange or the punch. So I won't buy this again. I'm not saying it was horribly terrible, but I just won't spend my money on it again because it wasn't as great as I was hoping it'd be. Now, this last thing here is yogurt. And y'all know that I like to have a yogurt every day, Greek yogurt. But I pretty much stick to the same kind. So I haven't been reviewing the yogurts that I get because I pretty much told you I bought every kind that I've got and what I thought of it. But these were some new ones that I've seen. It's called Too Good Yogurt. Two grams of sugar. This is strawberry. And this is blueberry. Now, they only had three flavors. These two flavors right here. And a vanilla. I didn't get the vanilla. I just got the blueberry one and the strawberry one. Didn't like them. They were not sweet. Now, I don't know if a yogurt is supposed to be sweet, but it could be because they only had the two grams of sugar. Um, let me see how many calories. It's in 80 calories, which is what my other ones have. But the flavor just was not what I was expecting from a yogurt. It's called Two Good Yogurts. So... No, I, I won't spend my money on that again. It wasn't, it wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. So thank you guys so very much for coming and visiting. Ginger's still hit with me. Jade's done took off and went in the living room. She got bored with it. But Ginger loves to be in the videos now, don't you, babe? So we appreciate y'all coming. For those of you who are new, my name is Vicki. This is Ginger. And we do Trash Talk on Tuesdays. And we'd love to have you back. Thanks, and y'all come back and see us any old time. Bye for this one.